I love this photograph of Pope Francis behind me. You can see him there, ear out, I'm listening. That's what he thinks is the most important stage we can be at in the church at the present time. There have been all sorts of difficult times down through the history of the church where people have to work out what do we do, where do we go, how do we react. St. Patrick knew that, St. Columba knew that, the Irish missionaries down through the generations knew that. We had to decide as COVID hit, what do we do? Pope Francis says we face all sorts of challenges for faith in the modern world. A huge opposition to faith, the failure of church in many ways to build active, vibrant faith communities, um, the whole question of how do we engage with our young people, the problems that many people face in terms of addiction, the mental illness. How do we as the people of God engage with the realities that we face ourselves with? We can't complain about the realities, that's where we are. St. Patrick didn't complain. So Pope Francis says, I want to hear what you have to say about that. And that will apply in every parish. Here in the Cathedral Parish, we hope to have a number of meetings over the next number of weeks, not to find out whose ideas are strongest, who can shout the loudest, who can get the most votes, but to hear the answers deep down in our hearts to the question, what is God asking of the Irish Church in this generation? What is God asking of the Cathedral Parish in St. Eugene's in Derry here of, in this generation? What are the challenges we face? How do we face them together? How do we get the love and mercy of God out to our contemporaries? Your voice is very important. Pope Francis wants to hear it from the whole worldwide church. I want to hear it from the Church of Derry. Be part of our process. That's how we will discover where God is leading us. And generations in the future will look back and say, thank God for the courage of the people of 2022. God bless you on the journey.